we are now at a big milestone in the project. All of our drywall work is done. As you can see, we now have ceilings and walls and surfaces that we can start to build off of with the finishes. So this is a big transition now from rough construction into finishes. Previously, we've been busy with demolition and removal, framing, plumbing, electrical rough ends, mechanical HVAC rough ends, all that stuff. And now we're moving into the finishes, which is the fun and exciting part. So the flooring that we're putting down here is a oak wide plank flooring with an engineered back. It is a French cut, plain slice of flooring, solid wood. Uh, and one of the interesting things about it is it's all being adhered down with adhesive on top of a acoustical isolation pad so that sound doesn't transmit to the neighbors below us or above us. The acoustical mat is a high density rubber that has a sound dampening effect. This gets adhered and full glued down to the concrete floor. And then on top of that, we lay our hardwood flooring. The hardwood flooring is pretty dynamic as it's a 10 inch wide plank, which is quite wide. And the way we're able to do that without cupping or moving is to have this engineered back. It's basically a multi-layer plywood back with a thick a solid core veneer on top. This is a French cut uh, oak wood uh, with a waterborne finish on there so we don't off gas and create a lot of you know, unnecessary uh, smells in the building since there's occupancy now in the building. So now that we have our finished floor down, the next step will be to put in uh, the next layer of finishes, which will be the interior doors and the door jams, which sit on top of the floor. And here in the kitchen area, which will have our cabinets, which will sit on top of the floor as well. And then we can start getting into countertops and tile backsplashes and appliances and fun things like that.